Okay, we are here for Dokkan again. I actually just did this video, and I guess I forgot to hit record. I don't know what happened, and I can't find the file, so we are going to do this voiceover again. Um, so while going through all of these stages and beating them with no items, um, we come across Super Int was super easy. And we're going to, at the same time, showcase Gotenks a bit. Uh, I already know he's fantastic, and you guys should too if you haven't already seen videos on him. Um, there are some if you haven't already. Uh, I've taken him into longer events too. But, um, yeah, we're going to take him in here. He's going to do fantastic for the team. He's going to create orbs, and he's going to give us a couple stuns. So, can't ask anything more. He also raises his own attack and defense greatly, so he's not even going to take much damage. Win, win, win. Uh, and <laughs> to make it even easier, doesn't need full 12 key to get his uh, super off, so he does insane in this mode. Um, we get the stun from the Kabito and Supreme Kai. And then, do we get the stun? I don't think so. We do. So we stun both of them. <laughs> both of them are stunned this round. So now I'm literally not going to get attacked. We keep. So I said this before in the other recording, the GT Trio. I really just love this unit because it's just very wholesome and I like using them. They uh, probably should have been off-rotated because uh, they just don't do that well that I think that they should stay on rotation. Should have kept the LR, um, Goku, and Vegeta. I should have kept them on the rotation. They would have had higher defense and done more damage more consistently, but whatever. Or, if I wanted to really showcase Ghost Tanks, I could have kept him on rotation with the Hercule, but whatever, we didn't. Probably would have worked out better that way if I did that. But we want to also make sure we're going to win, and I don't want to take it too many chances. So we do get supered right here, but we only take 40k because his attack's already been lowered. Um, and then we also have him on rotation, Supreme Guy Kabito, lowering attack even more. Uh, it's just super easy, man. They're dodging, they're lowering attack when they when they attack. Uh, let me double check. I think it's thirty percent they lower attack just from their passive, so just their presence. Yeah, thirty percent they lower attack. So it's like, come on, it, it's just easy, GGs. Uh, we don't need to attack with Hercule, he doesn't do too much. We're just attacking with uh, the GT Trio, they're going to have some good numbers here. Uh, 1.6 is okay, I mean, they, are, they don't have the most links active right now. Um, I definitely should have just kept them off rotation. Because yeah, this Ghost Tanks is at 1.2. You know, if I gave them all those, if I gave him all those orbs, he probably would have had even a higher attack stat. Yeah, easy peasy. He's dead, move on to the next round. And okay, two more enemies again. So what makes this so easy uh, with this team is there's just so many stunners. Um, so if you're going up against two people, like these first two rounds, you stun one, that's it. I can only get attacked by one person. Like, that's it, GG's. <laughs> if, um, and then because I have so many stunners, I can stun multiple people. So if I get, if I get two people stunned, that's, that's it. I, I don't take damage. And then Supreme Kai, part of their passive again is they heal 10%. What is it at the end? At the they recover 10% HP at the end of turn. So it's like I'm I'm gonna be healing off that. I'm healing off uh, Ghost Tanks because he recovers a, like a really large amount. Uh, don't know where the lag just came from. I hope it doesn't come back. 1.6, pretty decent. Uh, so that's the other thing. When there's two enemies like this, they do have more health compared to like the next fight we'll see where there's five enemies. Both of them are going to have a lot of health. Um, I don't know the numbers, but I'm pretty sure it probably equals the same. I am a little worried here because I didn't get uh, the GT Trio as super and I did not feel like restarting the half to do the orbs again. Because uh, I'm pretty tired at this point running these just, you know, stages back to back to back to back. Um, I don't think, I think I did this first attempt, I don't think it took more than one, but uh, what I mean is like I'm, I, I'm, like I'll beat this right, and then I just go, I click up, I go into the next stage, 
and I'm just going over and over and over again. So that's what I meant uh, by getting tired. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, creating those rainbow orbs, keeping them on rotation together, and then so that way they're gonna just not take damage. And then when Ghost Tanks comes out, he drops rainbow orbs like that. Bam, 23 key super. Like, so easy. Like, we're just getting big numbers. Taking no damage. 2.2. Like, that's not that's not the craziest, but, you know, we're on a 120 and a 90% lead. And, you know, he doesn't really have his links, right? He doesn't even have Legendary Power right now. So it's like, that's good, <laughs> considering those um, parameters that he's, you know, in right now. Uh, Ghost Tanks, there we go, we get the stun, which we have not seen in a minute, so it's nice to see. So he's stunned, and then that's it, now we're just gonna just punch him, just right in the face. <laughs> yeah, so if they don't get their 18 key, they don't really do a lot. They miss out, I think it's 77% attack, which is a big part of their passive, they miss out on that. But they do raise their defense, so they need to have super, at least to keep that up. Because I think they get 30% defense from supering, and they're at like 30k defense, so their defense is pretty low even after supering, so they really do need to get it. They are only 55% for me, so no chance of do no chance of like the hidden potential system helping us out for supers. We're gonna get that guaranteed stun, so we know we don't take any damage, and yeah, that's why we transform right there. The enemy doesn't get no last minute super attacks in, which we know they love to do. Alright, next fight. Now we got more enemies, right? So they're all pretty weak, except Cooler. Cooler's the only one that like makes up for it. He has so much health. Uh, and he attacks so much, you know, we're gonna go straight for him. I kind of wanted Hercule in that second slot, but I do see they link not too badly together at the end there. Uh, so I do leave him there, I take that chance. That they'll be okay, because they are also getting the Ultra. Which means they'll uh, raise defense by 30% for 6 turns, I think it is. Let me check that. I think that's it. No, three turns. 33% for three turns. That's pretty good. So we got now two people stunned. So I, I decided to select that green dude. It was more random than anything. I just felt like he was going to super me. Like out of everyone there, I just felt it. Uh, we got the stun, so we don't have to worry about it. And we're also getting the Dokkan attack right here, which I think ends it. Or at least comes very close. This super attack means nothing to us because it does nothing. 69k is totally fine. But it's so it's so easy to get low numbers with that with the Supreme Kai and Kabito because you go keep keep remembering, thirty percent debuff. <laughs> that is what they're doing. That is a lot. That is a lot. That's almost you're almost like having uh, an item active like an Icarus. That's crazy. For just you know their presence, that's really good. Uh, but I think they're gonna get this kill. Yep, yeah, that was a KO right there. And we move on, full health, going into the next fight, I really not much to say, this was a super easy run, because this team was very strong. Yep, we're going to preserve those orbs, because we need to get the super attack with the GT trio. Uh, same as you know, the cooler squad, Bojack here, he's the one that deals damage and really is coming at us, and the rest are, are not too bad. Um, 
Bojack, though, does not have a lot of health. Um, so we do take that super attack, 50k. Take a second one, 50k. So it's like, alright, I'm getting a little annoyed, third super attack. But then uh, his damage reduction jumped up a lot. Um, so we only took double digits there. But, I mean, I'm fine with him getting super because he's the only one that I want to get super. He, he will take the lowest damage. We see a lot of rainbow orbs, so we are very happy because we are going to get a huge attack stat with the LR. Def probably enough to kill Bojack, or at least get him very close. Um, I want to give you know a lot of orbs to ghost tanks at the end, but I do need to make sure I super with Kabuto and Supreme Kai. I was thinking backwards. I think it's Supreme Kai and Kabuto. Um, yeah, I think we end up taking it and going with the, the int orbs in the middle. But the AGL orbs line up nicely enough. Yeah, the AGL orbs actually align pretty nicely, and we get three rainbow orbs, which is 60% attack and defense, and then you know 7% per of the other orbs. So he gets a pretty good you know stat boost. Three dodge didn't need it, but I'll take it. And then we, um, I think we kill him right here. No, we don't. We get the additional. Do we? No, that, there's no way they kill him. Ghost tanks probably don't that does it. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be ghost tanks that does it. Oh, I switched thinking he uh, Bojack would be dead, but we do get the stun on him, which is very nice. So we don't have to take those attacks. So now we're trying to just pick the best way to do this and we're going to throw GT Trio off because I'm realizing how silly it is that technically it would make no sense to keep them on rotation. Um, the LR, Goku and Gigi are just way stronger. So we put them on, we go to kill him and then we just give them a single orb to take out Bojack and they're not going to get attacked at the end there. I mean they wouldn't either way. but. We get rid of them. The uh, Hercule, his hidden potential system comes up and we do get the stun again. Oh well, didn't need it. Um, see was already stunned. Goku and Vegeta are gonna get the kill right here. Yep, he's out of here. 700k, pretty low but it, we don't need much. That's enough to take out Bojack. And then we're gonna come in, we're gonna just start one hitting these guys. I don't think that's enough to kill Zanga. We target him so we don't get, you know, a full hit. And then we go back to Zanga. I'm pretty sure she's going to survive that first hit. Unless we got like an additional or something. Yeah, only 1.5. Not the highest attack stat. But she's really close to being dead. And we get another 3 dodge, which is awesome. Or I guess they're in, so I guess what that's 8 dodge because there's 5 in their hidden potential. VG is going to get a pretty decent attack stat. He gets the stun, but it doesn't matter because she's dead. And yeah, we're pretty much we're just going to wrap this one up. It's it's clearly going to be the win because um, these guys are the weakest ones, so there's no way they're going to do a lot of damage. And we're about to get a nice attack stat from Gotenks. I wish uh, we had that update. Oh, we're going to get it soon, though, where we actually see how many orbs and quickly decide uh, where's you know the best path. So that's going to be a nice quality of life update coming soon. It's going to be very nice to have. He is out of here. Um, I don't think he's... Is he strong enough to kill him? Maybe not. Even with the crit, still not. But this is obviously going to be the ending right here from the GT Trio. Uh, to call it a win, put that one in the bag. Pretty easy one, actually. So... Definitely enjoyed doing it. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know um, your thoughts. Uh, anything else that you guys like to see. Like, subscribe, and all the other good stuff. Take care. Peace.